Hi, y'all. It's Melissa Ushaka from the Access team, and I wanted to record a follow-up video from the video I recorded earlier where I showed you uh, SAML Group Sync to show you uh, how you can use SAML Group Sync plus group sharing combined um, to allow you to give access at the project level using Group Sync. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, and uh, I'm going to use the same example that I used uh, earlier. And there's a couple of things that I'm going to point out as I go. Uh, so you see here, this is my owner view of uh, the Melissa SSO group. So you see here, there's three subgroups, and then within them, I have multiple groups, right? So within projects, I have um, different projects. Well apps and then projects within them, right? Um, and um, this is what, what would be like your um, structure where you have your code. And then I created an account management project just to show something that isn't code. And then again, over here, I have um, the groups that I'm using for group links, uh, for group sync. And you see I have security, product, and engineering, same as the example I showed earlier. Uh, and again, I have one user called um, Ushakov Test um, that is part of the product and security groups. So one thing that's important to point out uh, in this config that I have is that I've actually made the default membership uh, minimal access. Uh, so what that means is that this user over here can only see the groups that they're a member of. Um, even though over here, again, there are all these other groups, they can only see users, product, and security because that's the only groups they've explicitly been added to, and they were added via um, group sync. So now, um, if I want, basically, this, member's a, this person's a member of the security team, and I want the security team to have uh, specific access to, like, say, app one as owner and like app two as uh, a guest, right? What I have to do is I go over here to app one and I'll actually show you two examples, one at the group level, one at the project level. And I invite group and I'm gonna invite group Melissa, SSO, all the one extras. Uh, users, security, and they're going to be a maintainer. So now anybody who is in the security group will be a maintainer on any projects under this app. So it's taking a little while. Uh, so again, here I'm, I'm logged in with that test user. And now you see under projects, I see app one and I have access to project line project two. One area of opportunity here that there's actually an open issue for is just showing the pill here um, that has the access level. So that's something that we're working on. I'll put an issue in the um, video description that shows that. So that's at the group level. Now, if I don't want to have access to everything, but let's say here for uh, app two, what did I add? Yes, I added up one. If I want them to only have access to project four, I go here, members, invite group, and I'm gonna say Melissa SSO slash users, security, and I'm gonna make them a guest here, right? And I invite them. So now, if I go over here and I refresh, you'll see that they have access to project four and project one, project two. So basically you can get as detailed as you need to using one single group, which is the security group and inviting that one group into the different groups and projects that you need um, them to have visibility into. And the advantage here is that um, you won't normally have just one person that security uh, group will be you know, all the people, all the members of the security team that you can easily at mass give them access to whatever they need to um, without having to do it on a project by project basis. And the other advantage too is that you can do things like at mention 
the security team within GitLab so that they can get notifications about issues that are important um, to them, right? To any group of people. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, hopefully that's clear on how you can use SAML group sync and group sharing combined um, so that you don't need to rework your entire project hierarchy uh, to take advantage of group sync. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to uh, comment on the issue. Thanks.